Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a Nike haul for you guys. So I did ask you all on Instagram if you wanted to see one big Nike haul or did you if you wanted to see two smaller Nike hauls and most of you said that you'd much rather see it in one big haul and uh, I am so thankful to those of you all who voted that because it's just making my life much simpler right now. And because I'm all over the place, I'm being really weird right now. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, fun fact: I shot about like 40% of this video where I spoke and spoke and spoke, and then I realized that the tiny red dot over there that says recording was missing. And I saw it much later after I got through so much. So I'm going to do this all over again without cribbing. So a lot of these products I got before my birthday, and a lot of these products I got after. And uh, I wanted to do. And honestly, right now, I don't even know which products I got when. Some of these I got in April end. You know, it's the same haul that I wanted to show you guys. And I already shot a video for that. But that video, the footage got ruined. So I couldn't, I mean, it was really blurred footage. It was really unusable. Which is why I wanted to shoot this anyway again. And I think it just makes more sense to do this all together. So let's get into it quickly. So the first thing I got is this Huda Beauty for filter foundation and I got this in the shade 340G Baklava and you all know that I got this because I've done first impressions and wear test of this foundation and uh, yeah first impressions wise I really like the foundation I like the finish I hate the color match is pathetic I got it when they did not have the shade Emirati or whatever it's called uh, I should have probably tried that you know what but I wasn't patient I just got this when this was available and yeah it backfired anyway uh, I think I should have started with primers before foundations so the first thing I got was the second thing rather was this uh, Smashbox photo finish primerizer it is a primer plus a moisturizer this has hyaluronic acid in it which is all the rage currently hyaluronic acid is fantastic for hydration it's a very good hydrating agent to your skin and I have really dehydrated skin which is why you know foundations do end up looking really cakey and crusty and crumbly on me and so I wanted a really nice you know primer that would uh, plump up my skin and make my skin look really nice and fresh and dewy which is why I got this uh, I don't know what it does to increase the lifespan of my foundation it doesn't do much but yes it does leave my foundation looking decent for a much longer time if I were not to wear a primer or if I were to wear a more mattifying or a pore filling primer my foundation would have sort of you know ended up looking a lot more dehydrated sooner than when I wear this it doesn't so yeah that was a long sentence the next thing I got is another primer and this is from wet n wild I got the wet n wild dewy I mean it's a photo focus face face primer now I got this because when I saw pictures of this and when I saw reviews of this on Nykaa uh, it did sound like a primer that I was looking at buying from the high end which is the Becca Backlight uh, Filter Primer so I got this as well because you know this is just a fraction of the cost that is for about almost 3000 rupees 29.90 or something like that and this is for about 450 or 480 or something like that Quantity wise I believe they are around the same quantity this must be about 20 to 30 ml and this is 30 ml so yeah I got this just to see if uh, that primer is a dupe and uh, I don't know I'm going to let you all know soon. The next thing I got is another foundation and this is a foundation that I've been meaning to buy and try for a very long time and this is the first drugstore foundation I got in a very long time this is the L'Oreal 24 hours infallible pro matte foundation and I got this in the shade golden beige so I do end up buying golden beige in all the L'Oreal foundations and surprisingly a lot of them match me and a lot the pro matte ones are a little lighter on my skin tone but the soup true match blendable ones are exactly my skin tone so I don't know what it is maybe this just has more coverage so it just looks dark and white for some time but it's still like I'm wearing it right now and it, I think it looks pretty good it's a good match so yeah I got this in the shade golden beige the next thing I got is another wet n wild product and this is the wet n wild photo focus concealer in the shade light medium beige now uh, the Huda Beauty foundation that I got was really yellow on me almost mustard so it looked really weird and so I wanted a highlighting and a very light concealer which was a highlighting concealer so I could wear this and you know sort of balance out the way uh, my makeup looks and I just didn't want to look so yellow 
wearing this foundation so i got this concealer and i really like this concealer it's a very nice formula and it's really nice it looks really good i like it um the next thing i got was another bit of my product so you can see i ha i did want to try out a lot of wet and wild products and uh, I really like this wet and wild uh, brow product it's fantastic it's the only brow product that I have tried in a very long time otherwise I just stick to you know doing my brows the way I always used to do it which is uh, what I'm going to show like I'm going to leave links down below so you can see how I used to do it but now I ever since I discovered this this is how I do my brows and I really love it uh, the next thing I got is another Wet n Wild product and this is a Wet n Wild highlighter and this is in the shade uh, Precious Petals. I really like this highlighter. I'm wearing this right now and uh, just look at the reflex you guys. It's fantastic. This, uh, you know the undertones are so peachy and so like golden peachy that they look so good on my skin or most Indian skin tones I'm sure this is going to suit them um, because it just like you know when you look at me like this you don't you can't tell that I'm wearing highlighter unless I move it just gives me that wet sort of a look which I absolutely love it's not very very made up it's just this wet highlighted look like you've really moisturized your skin very 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 well and of course you've put on some makeup so it's not like um, that subtle it's really blinding if you build it up but it's fantastic I love the undertones of this highlighter it's not very ashy looking or any of those things next I got uh two i yeah i got two mascaras to try out i got two new maybelline mascaras i got the colossal big shot volume express mascara which i'm wearing and i really like this mascara and then i got the falsies push-up drama um hydrofudge hydrofudge or whatever hydrofuge i don't know mascara and this is okay uh this i got in the waterproof version and this i got a uh, non-waterproof version and this I'm not very sure of yet, I don't know, but this I'm already in love with. I really like this mascara, so do try this out, the golden one. Um, next I got three lip glosses. So I got two from Essence and these two lip glosses, so yeah, they're the Triple XL Shine lip glosses from Essence. I like the formula of these lip glosses, I like the warmth of these lip glosses. Uh, the color doesn't really last very long most of these lip glosses are not pigmented at all and they will end up looking like clear lip glosses like this one is in the shade fuchsia something Fush fabulous fuchsia and uh, this honestly looks like nothing when you put it on your hand so i've put it over here it looks like nothing and the other one is in the shade true love and this is the only pigmented sort of a lip gloss in this range i feel it has some sort of pigmentation but they also contain caramine and I didn't know what caramine was. I googled it recently and it, caramine is basically uh, a pigment derived from some insects. It's a red pigment that they crush some insects for. And so, you know, I'm a vegetarian. This doesn't make any sense to me. Like I would, when I don't eat an animal or anything like that, I wouldn't, you know, use it in my lip products or uh, anywhere. I'm against leather, I'm against wearing fur and all of those things. So it makes no sense to me to, you know, this is just cruel, this is not beauty. So I'm not going to be using these lip glosses at all, but I just wish that, you know, they were not very expensive and I got them on a discount. So I didn't spend much, maybe about 170, 180 or 150 rupees, I don't know, 100 rupees, I don't know actually, because it's been a while. But I'm not really upset about the amount I spent. It's just that I wish that Nika would have, you know, a red, not vegetarian, like a non-vegetarian or a green, like a vegetarian or a vegan symbol uh, with their products on their website because it would just make so much more because I'm not going to look at the ingredients list for lip glosses I mean I don't know how many of you all do that but I just if I'm buying skincare and really expensive skincare that's when I'm going to look at the ingredients list I'm not going to look at it for a hundred rupees lip gloss but I would still rather buy a vegetarian lip gloss if you know what I mean so I really wish that Nika would have those symbols because it would just make life so much more easier. And this is another lip gloss that I got from Wet n Wild. Now this is the Mega Slick Slip Slick Slip Gloss in the shade Sinless. And this is obviously perfect for my skin color. You guys, I completely lucked out with the lip glosses I got this time around. Two non-vegetarian lip glosses and one silvery pink lip gloss which obviously would suit me if I were at least 20 shades lighter and had blonde hair anyway so that's that oh so I got uh, another essence product and I got this essence silky 
Dutch Blush and I got this in the shade, wait what's it called, it's in the shade 40 Natural Beauty. Now I really like this blush, it's a beautiful colour and the formula is really nice, it's very soft and it's also, it's very natural and it has a satin sort of a glowy effect so it's beautiful, I'm going to wear this in one of my upcoming videos and you'll know why, I mean it's such an inexpensive blush too, it's very inexpensive. It's for $2.99 and I must have got it for about $150 or 50% off or something like that. It's fantastic. I really like this blush. Uh, the next thing I got is another Wet n Wild product. And this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. I want to try a setting spray and I got this. It's cruelty free and everything. Very little product. The price is decent. 450 rupees. Not too steep. But the product is like really little. 15 ml or something. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, 45 ml. I'm so sorry. 45 ml, otherwise, as opposed to like a 100 ml spray bottle. Usually, spray bottles come in 100 ml, usually. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a nice setting spray. It does, I feel like it has done something when it sets my makeup. I feel like it does do something. And it's also very ma uh, natural looking, not a very flat matte effect it gives. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Quickly, quickly, quickly because my battery is flashing. I got three Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks and this I did not get from uh, Nykaa. This I got uh, outside. So the first one is in a darker brown shade and it is called Seductive Sienna which I really like. And the other two are called Sassy Mauve and Coffee Break and two of those I already have and I already have them open. I don't know why I just go and pick up the same shades that I already have and I have like multiples of the same shade right now. So let's see what I'm going to do with that. Now, yeah, oh, the last two products over here that I got. I got this Maybelline Master Chrome uh, Metallic Highlighter and uh, it's the golden sort of highlighter which you can see that I've used a lot already and I really, really, really like this highlighter. It's beautiful. This is what it looks like. I had, you know, not used these products for such a long time because I wanted to show you guys what they look like and all of that but then that video went to dog so I ended up using everything. Then I got the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer, finally. I so I'm going to continue doing this video like this. So I got the Bahama Mama Bronzer by the Balm and I'm doing this quickly vlog style because my battery died and this battery is flashing as well. So I'm just going to quickly finish this video. I just want to show you the, I mean I just want to say bye and show you that. So I did get a few skincare things as well but I, and let me try the skincare products out and then I'm going to come back to you guys with a skincare video like my skincare routine or something like that. Products I love, products I did not love that I bought. So you are going to see those products in uh, my skincare uh, video. I know it doesn't really seem like a lot of products over here. That's because I'm sure I'm, I've missed out on a lot of products. I'm sure everything's in a mess over there. And uh, I did get a lot of skincare for myself, for uh, Venki. And for a lot of people, I actually ordered a lot of skincare stuff and a lot of other things. Which I've already given away, so I can't really show them to you guys as well. Which is why it doesn't really look like I have a lot of products over here. So yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you super soon, guys. Bye.